This morning, OpenAI held a much-anticipated event called Dev Day, where Sam and his colleagues revealed a bunch of new features, both for developers and regular users. And I'm under impression that those new features that are pretty exciting and cool might also change the AI industry and the way that people build products forever. Personally, for me, today's revelations open some important questions, and we'll talk about them later. So in this video, I want to give you an overview of the most important things Sam showed us, but I also want to discuss why today's day was kind of important and why nothing will ever be the same again. Let's start with a short overview of the features that were revealed. First of all, it looks like OpenAI took some of the negative feedback seriously, so thanks to that, the annoying model picker is eliminated and from now on ChatGPT will take your prompt and automatically choose whether you need code interpreter, DALI or something else. Which makes me wonder, what does this mean for people that develop plugins? It seems like plugins are just gone overnight and ChatGPT customers cannot access them anymore. Are they just totally eliminated? Another important news is that they launched a new model called GPT-4 Turbo, which has context window of 128,000 tokens, which would be approximately equal to a 300 pages long book. Another feature is a new JSON mode that makes the model reply with valid JSON, which is something the developers repeatedly requested. Another convenient feature for developers is improved function calling. You can actually call multiple fun functions in parallel. Also, knowledge cutoff for this new GPT-4 is April 2023, not September 2021. Another interesting news is that you can get access to fine-tuning API for GPT-4, and in the prices seem relatively reasonable which is great news and if you or your company have an extra two to three million dollars at your disposal you might be interested in OpenAI's new service that provides making custom models with specific domain knowledge so let's get to the most interesting part OpenAI shared something really cool and exciting called custom GPTs in order to understand why this is so important we need to step back a little bit customized chatbots is something that has pretty much captivated the imagination of developers and users for months. This year, we've seen an enormous amount of chat with your PDF, talk to YouTube, talk like Elon Musk chatbots. People that build them had to have at least basic programming experience in order to be able to build any of these customized chatbots. Usually, they would use Langchain and make GPT 3.5 API calls, or they would use some low or no code platform like BotPress. And just because it's a no code platform, it doesn't mean that it's the easiest task in the world. Connecting those nodes would sometimes be confusing and tedious. However, some people quickly adapted, learned these skills, created first mover's advantage, capitalized on it, built profitable startups, and went on to earn a bunch of money in spite of being criticized for being just an API wrapper. But with OpenAI revealing this build a custom GPT feature, everything will change. Because this feature allows everyone to build their specific chatbot with customized knowledge. And when I say everyone, I mean it. You don't have to know how to write a single line of code in order to build your own chatbot. You just need to know plain English. Sam actually built one in a demo and I invite you to watch it on YouTube since unfortunately I don't have access to this feature yet. But in the demo, you can see that he just needs to chat with ChatGPT. The chatbot is actually building another chatbot. It's so simple. He first gives it systems instructions, then he goes back and forth with the bot, makes his idea a little clearer, and finally he gets options to upload the data, a PDF or any kind of a file which you will give to a chatbot to give it custom knowledge. And also he decides if the bot is going to have any special capabilities like browsing internet, code interpreter, or DALI. When you're done building the bot, you can choose if you want to share it with the world, keep it private or subscribe to a ChatGPT enterprise and use it for your business. But here's the most interesting and most controversial part of this feature, 
at least in my opinion. OpenAI plans to open a store where you can share your chatbot with the world. And the most commonly used, most popular GPTs will be rewarded financially. OpenAI will share the profit with you. How much, they don't specify yet, but this is their promise. So this might be a nice source of, of passive income, but this makes me wonder about certain legal concerns. And let me give you a silly example. If I build a custom chat with Alex Cormose in GPT and I upload a bunch of YouTube transcripts of his videos in order to give the bot custom knowledge, let's imagine that GPT somehow becomes very popular. So I start earning revenue. But is this going to backfire in the future? Do I risk being sued by Hermos's team? Or will his team ask me to share revenue with them? After all, I'm using somebody else's knowledge and storytelling skills to make profit for myself. How is this going to be regulated? And to be clear, this is a question that the entire industry is facing, not just OpenAI and people that build products on top of it. But I believe that this feature is going to bring this issue to light even more. Another question is, how much will OpenAI manage to monopolize the whole build your own chatbot market? A lot of startups and businesses that exist currently offer this type of service like BotPress and they might die because this feature essentially radically lowers the barrier to entry. I mean, all it takes to build a good customer service chatbot that knows your products and prices is plain English. And is it a good thing that OpenAI holds such a monopoly over the giant market? Right now, nobody can really challenge them because they offer the fastest and easiest way to customize a chatbot. The only threat to their dominance might be that a lot of businesses might choose some other way to customize a chatbot due to privacy reasons. And I could be totally wrong about this and please let me know in the comments what you think about potential implications for businesses in the AI industry. I want to mention that just hours after OpenAI's demo, Langchain launched their own open source version of custom GPTs and you can use them to build your own chatbot and they're using ChatGPT and Entropic API calls. It's supposed to have all the features that OpenAI provides, including the store, as well as adding custom knowledge to the chatbot, but currently it only offers system instructions and web browsing. But this is an open source version, it's super easy to install and it's obviously work in progress, so I'll check out the repo in a few days. In the meantime, I'll provide a link in the description bo box if you want to check it out. Lastly, I want to finish this video by mentioning that OpenAI made developers jobs a lot easier by making it super quick and easy to build GPT-4 assistance for various apps. The feature is called Assistant APIs and it is super easy to use. You just have to give your assistant a name, instructions and enable tools such as Code Interpreter DALI or whatever you need. There are two primitives that you can use threads, which are conversations essentially, and messages, which are basically user's input. And if you're interested, I can make a video about how to use assistant APIs in a project, so just let me know in the comments. That's all for today. The video was a little bit dense, but I hope you liked it, and thank you for watching and see you in the next one.